Mr. Dome, were you one to touch by an angel? Where did he touch you? Go away. Where did he touch you? Go away. Did he touch you in inappropriate not places? Beautiful enough for this morning. Go did away. he touch you in inappropriate places? There's no such thing as angels, is there? Oh, there is, and they <laughs> touched you. Go away. Because. Oh! <laughs> I got it all. Damn it. <laughs> the best? Mr. Dunn, is it true that you touch kids? Yeah. Ah, that's not fun. <laughs> Mr. Dunn, were you one to touch by an angel? Where did he touch you? Go away. Where did he touch you? Go away. Did he touch you in inappropriate not places? Beautiful enough for this morning. Go did away. he touch you in inappropriate places? There's no such thing as angels, is there? Oh, there is, and they <laughs> touched you. Go away. Mr. Dunn, is it true that you once fought Muhammad Ali over six chicken tenders? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Dorn, is it true that you once had intercourse with a man and ended up showing a pirate to the Caribbean? <laughs> Mr. Dorn, is it true that you and the Pope knocked back so many Jaeger bombs that you had an intimate night in Rome? Which Pope? Both. <laughs> Maybe. Mr. Dorn, is it true that you and Michael Jackson wrote an turn of 80s song and then had sex? Well, yeah, but you'll never hear the song. Why? Because Michael didn't want it released, it was about me. Michael released his in you, was, His love for me was too strong. Did Michael release in you? Is it true that you once shoved an Xbox controller up your bum and then made it vibrate for pleasure? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Did, We're it, in what, public did it work? Stop this. I've never done that. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Mr. Dunn, is it true that you and Pete Townsend had an intimate session one night in New York? We're in extra vision. Can you stop doing this? Is it true? <laughs> Who's Pete Townsend? Did he use his appendage? Who's Pete Townsend? <laughs> I think he's dickhead. Mr. Dunn, is it true that you once had sex with an Asian prostitute and then noticed an appendage between their legs and realised you're gay? What is wrong with you? Mr. Dunn, Mr. Dunn, is yes. it true that Lou Freak no one to penetrate you at his Malibu mansion? He had a Malibu mansion. Mr. Dunn, Mr. Dunn, is it true that your favourite cocktails were hypno? <laughs> what? Mr. Dunn, Mr. Dunn, yeah. is it true that Shaquille O'Neal had his way with you after his last basketball game and now it all just slips out? Yeah, a little bit. Breaking news, local rapist Martin Dunn found guilty of showing his very small appendage in public. Are <laughs> you <come. laughs> Mr. Dunn, is it true that you once stuck your penis in a Renault Clio no just comment. because you thought it would be no efficient and eco-efficient? No comment. Did you think it would be eco-efficient? <laughs> Was your mileage low? Was your mileage low? Stop it. Did it use much petrol? I did nothing to that Red Hot Cleo, leave it alone. Was it a 1.2 or a 1.1? Stop it! Was it a 1.4? No, stop it! What? No, oh, no, comment, comment, please. We've caught up with the suspected car rapist. This just shows Martin Dunn is a danger to everyone and no one will be safe. No one will ever be safe while this man is still on the streets. God help us all. Hide your dogs, hide your cars, lock your porch doors, do nail down your letter boxes. He'll stick his tiny appendage everywhere. And now we follow Mr. Dunn into his natural habitat. This is where you should tell your wife, your kids, your husbands, your cars, your letterboxes, government officials, and the Kenny and John Burton to stay away. Why are you following me? He wants to show. Of nothing. There's nothing going on. He wants to show them all his tiny appendage, and he will not stop until his appendage has been me? shown. Why? There's no problem. There's no point in following me. I've been acquitted of everything. He's not been acquitted of everything. That is a lie. He's been proven. He's been proven guilty. He's been proven guilty of having a small appendage by a court of law. The EU courts have proven it to all. Right now, I fear for my own life. I do not fear for my anus, though, because his appendage is small. Mr. Dunn, did Pat stick his massive tool in your box? Mr. Dunn, chocolate milk, cocoa pops. Uh, croissants, oh wait, this is my shopping list. Pop Do you lure little kids into your house for fun? No. I've Why not? Equipped, never, nothing's ever happened. It has. No, it hasn't. Everything's happened. Nothing. Everything's happened in this house. Look, here's the letterbox he likes to stick his Mickey in. 